Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show this beautiful Friday morning. It's time for Hashtag Friday Funnies, brought to you by the Cape Town Comedy Club. And uh, a look at the biggest stories of the week to find a bit of the humor in this crazy, crazy world we live in. Here to help us this morning is comedian Mr. Kurt Skunrod. And uh, he's going to be telling us what's happening in the world. Kurt, so good to have you here. The pleasure's always all mine, yeah? <laughs> shall we kick off, shall Let's we? kick off yes. because there's some crazy there things. There is indeed some crazy stuff. Um, in a hire this week, a young man, like seven years old, oh. he called 911 Why? for an emergency. What? He needed help with his homework. Oh, no. And what was really oh. cool was that they actually helped him with his word sum. Are you kidding me? They did. That is so wow. I think it is cool, isn't it? It's very clever of him, in fact, <laughs> it, it to call is 911. Indeed. They must just not make a habit of it because, well, it you know. You know how it is. You know. Yeah. But yeah. it depends. Eh? One man's emergency <laughs> is another man's word sum, I think. That's you know? true. That's a a word sum is an emergency. You know, when I, when, if you were in my class, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about, you know, the whole pineapple debate about the uh, Iceland's president yes. that said he, it would, did. he would block pineapples off pi pizzas. You know, this pineapple thing has been going on for a while on social media and the internet. Now, either you, they, people are very passionate about pineapple on pizza. Mm. Either you love it or you hate it. Now, I love and it. They, you love it. Yes. I couldn't handle it. Eh? It's just not the right thing to put on a pizza. It's not Christian. As far as I'm concerned. We, okay. You we can't do that. Very extreme <laughs> opinion. <laughs> well, uh, the, the president of Iceland, of course, um, he's, he's anti pineapple on pizza, and mm. his theory is if he uh, had a way, he would make it illegal altogether all over the world. So. Yeah, but don't they have to like bring pineapples from elsewhere so it's just not the same? The irony is that the, the Hawaiian pizza was yeah. invented in Canada. You? Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Right. Sunshine, ice, water, thunk, you know. Uh -huh, God, love yeah. it. Maybe he should have some medical marijuana. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a big movement forward over there. I think it's, yeah. a, it's a fantastic move forward in um, chronic pain management. It is. And anxiety management and, and the likes of. But um, mar medical marijuana has been given, or more or less given, the green light. Really? Um, and there is a public participation part of this exercise. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that m a lot of users can't remember that they're supposed to go to this public participation part of the exercise. So we're not sure how that's going to turn out. It's going to be interesting. It, it is indeed. It's going to be very interesting. But for no. chronic pain, I think it's a great thing, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Well, let's talk about Harrison Ford that, ah, you know... There's an interesting one. Now, Harrison Ford this week um, had a near miss with an, a commercial airline. And he is a pilot. He, smart, he flies a small plane and helicopters as well. Now, um, there's a couple of things we've got to keep in mind here. Over the last four years, he had four near misses. I was about what? to say, it's not the first Four one. Four near misses. Now, I don't know why they call it a near miss. As far as I'm concerned, it's almost a near hit. Exactly, right? exactly. But the official name for it is a near miss. Yeah. He's had a crash landing with a plane, a crash landing with a helicopter, now a, a previous near miss with a commercial airline, and this is the fourth time, in fact. The irony is he's character in Star Wars, Han Solo, is the best pilot in the universe. Wow. I'm not sure about that, Harrison. That's why it's a character. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he plays a good, the, good, uh, the, the good character, though, but um, with, um, on the ground, I don't, it's a good, it's a nice way to put it. Oh, on the ground, that. I don't think he's covered all the aviation bases. That there, is crazy that at his age, he's still going strong, hey, with his near misses. Well, I, I'll tell you what, there's, there's an old saying that goes, if you're very famous, don't buy a plane. Okay, all right. Then we all know that's turned out for many, many, many famous people. Like John Travolta, he owns a 747, do you know that? Wow. He takes his family around crazy. in a 747. Oh, as great. one does when you're super rich. Do you have one more crazy story for I us? I do, and since I like to theme the crazy stories, this is a pooch story. Oh, um, In that. Brazil, yeah. uh, last week, um, there was this huge story reported where this stray walked into one of the petrol stations there and stuck around, and they have meaningfully employed him since then. Oh. As a dog to be a, a petrol attendant. attendant. Look at him. That's right. Isn't Whoa. that the cutest Bella, thing in the there. world? Look, look. Oh, Bella, look. Not interested. Oh, no, there we go. Look there. I reckon the... we can no. take a page from that book and apply it right here. It will solve a lot of the pooch problems. You know, all of the the, the, the strays we have. Yeah. And I think you know, a look walk from the, the shop to the car oh, wow. with well, one of those. I think it's a great well, idea. There's so many pavement specials. Put them to work, man. I'm That's saying that. Say. You know, you come know, on. Sort out the labour problem. <laughs> 
and a nice little uh, walk from the car to the shop. Cute to look Is at. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Well, Kurt, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's always great having you on the feel on our Feel Good Breakfast show. Thank you. Thank Thanks you Thanks for so having much. us. Cheers. Yes, well, and thank if, you. If you're up for a laugh this weekend, be sure to visit the Cape Town Comedy Club at the V&A Waterfront. They will give you all the laughs you need. But to give us all the food we need, let's head outside to the bride.